put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. If the video is simply too long for you, I did record a shorter version and the link is in the description box. Stoker Mood Review. The name Stoker refers to the main family, let's go with that, and the father, Richard Stoker, dies at the beginning of the movie, or rather he is being buried at the beginning of the movie, and we meet his daughter, India, played by Mia Wasikowska, I hope I got that right, and his widow, Evie, I believe, was e Eve or Evie, played by Nicole Kidman, who both have to deal with now living just the two of them in the house that where they used to be three. And in the middle of this, rather around the time of the funeral, an Uncle Charlie reappears, and this is a a bit of a surprise, and he seems to sort of come out of nowhere. It's it's not it seems like he hasn't he hasn't been around and he's just barely remembered as as part of the family. And over the course of the film there are some mysteries surrounding basically everything I've just said and just this yeah the the relationship between the three of the characters is very, you might say it's, it's the center of the movie and they definitely, if you thought your family was dysfunctional and I suppose that more or less covers it for the plot. Now I should say that this is a, this is not a movie for everyone, and you can maybe say it's it's a polarizing movie. And I've read a lot of positive reviews, and I've read a lot of negative reviews, and most of what I've read, I can at least see that. I don't necessarily agree 100% with everything, but the criticism, some of the critis criticisms are correct, some of the positive points are correct. It's very much a movie that it has a lot to do with your state of mind when you watch it and it's I think it's it's important to note that this movie is not necessarily liking it or understanding it does not necessarily mean you're smart and not liking it or maybe needing some time to think about it doesn't mean you're not smart and I will say that the various mysteries over the course of the film, as we approach the ending, it does become clearer what actually, what has been going on. And it's, it's been pointed out that the ending is somewhat contrived, it doesn't really have a climax, and it does fall somewhat flat. I, th I think the ending is something that could have been better. But everything else, it kind of is... You either like it or you... You either love it or you hate it. And neither is necessarily correct. It's just... It's one of those movies that you, you don't really know what to necessarily, but, but what I will say definitely, if you are at all considering watching it, it's it's very twisted, very disturbing, and it approaches some taboo subjects with, 
with no real reluctance. It charges into them, you might say. Now, I should say this is the first script by Wentworth Miller of Prison Break fame and the first English language film by Park Chan-wook. I hope I got that right. Here, hence, henceforth referred to as Park. And he directed, he's probably most known for Old Boy, the, the I think it's all either called the Vengeance Trilogy or the Revenge Trilogy. I have not watched that yet, but I will, obviously. And it's, um, as such, I can't directly compare this to his, uh, his other work, but I do understand that this is less sadistic than Old Boy, less less cynical than his otherwise body of work and there is perhaps some some of the acting perhaps reflects that there was a language barrier between director and the actors now it is a movie where every line every little look every action has more than one meaning to it is not a movie that you're supposed to look at as a reflection of real life. It is a story being told. If if you try to make this make sense within reality, I think you're going to be very frustrated. And and in general, it is a it is a movie that frustrates. It's in in some parts it almost seems to challenge, provoke, dare us to hate at least aspects of it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a movie that uh, there, there are things you, you almost have to admit that there are things about it that are impressive. But at the same time, it's almost impossible to claim that it's a perfect film, that it's one of those films that you really couldn't improve upon. Now, there are a lot of secrets going on in in the family and there are numerous recurring elements that you should make note of ice cream a a gift a key and and some of the elements are universal there are there's a lot of symbolism in this and i believe someone else has already said so i will have to quote every frame of this could be a painting in itself and this is it's striking from the first frame like the the very first couple of frames of it for, for the first minute or two I, I thought that the DVD was like scratched or something or blu-ray rather was scratched because it would like show a little movement then pause then a little movement and thankfully not long after that Let's just say it it, uh, it started with, um, yeah, without giving anything away, some narration started. And that clarified, no, it is running as it should. It's just, it's the, the choices being, being made. Now, there's a lot of this that is vague. And it, it very much, it takes a lot from the... The, t the three living in this old house and clearly they are wealthy and well-educated and this is you might say for better or for worse there's there's very little in the movie that isn't shown as having some of some good and some bad to it this also features um, Perhaps the most badass rape repellent since Face Off. Every detail and every choice made in the production of this movie matter. Every little detail that you think you know, it's it's gonna pay off in in one way, pretty much, pretty much. And this explores various ideas more than you know more than making. An argument it kind of explores various ideas I, I can't really give, go into more detail without spoiling and I may have already said it's not the most accessible movie this is definitely not something you put on just to you know 
have fun just to watch just if, if you want to just watch a mystery you know with with this kind of thing it's, this movie is very Hitchcocky watch Hitch Hitchcock if you want something that you will understand without necessarily you you won't appreciate everything in the Hitchcock movie if you're not paying full attention but you'll be able to follow it and enjoy it this movie not necessarily and that again that that is not an insult to those who want I I myself love the the fast food type movies nor is it you know necessarily a badge of honor for the, these this is the type of movie that Park chose to make. Now, there is a lot of intercutting going on. A scene will sort of start and then cut to something else that's either, you know, it might be way back in, in time, it might be a bit further into the future, it might be a minute ago, but yeah, a lot of that going on. Now, the the acting is phenomenal. I the, the the three leads in particular. This is one of the first movies I've seen Matthew Good in. I mainly know him as Ozymandias from Watchmen. And excuse me, that movie's excuse me overall quality notwithstanding, he did well in it. There's a lot of good acting in in that movie, and. I also haven't seen Mia in in too much. I, I think I'm gonna just refer to her as a, refer to her as Mia rather than accidentally butcher her last name again. But yeah, I've you know I've been impressed with her in other performances, and I was impressed here. There's a lot going on in her eyes. In in general, there's a lot going on in people's eyes in this movie, and. Yeah, there's the, subtle is the key word to the acting in in this movie. Now, the and and good also Matthew Good hides. It's it's been said he hides menace under an attractive surface that we know is dangerous. I would have to agree. It's he's very much. I mean, I'm straight. So I'm not physically attracted to him, but I can understand being physically attracted to him. He is handsome, and he does have this appeal where, yeah, it's very much, you can sense there's something more there. He's, he's, he's a little dangerous, but can't, would, I mean, I wouldn't want to date him, but I might, you know, hang out or know people who date him or something. You know, it's, yeah. Now, this is one of the things that people have said as a criticism, but I think could also be used as a, okay, maybe not a point in its favor, but just a, a quality of it. We don't really feel anything for Mia or for the antagonist, and that is, that is true. I can't really claim it, it was true for me at least also and I don't think that it some it seems have uh, have found that completely off-putting whereas I think of it as a a quality of the film it is uh, it's it's and another thing is that the it's been said that the story doesn't really flow, and that again, I would I would kind of say it's yeah in in a traditional sense. If you are just trying to watch a movie, then this from that perspective, you might say this isn't that good of a movie. But if you view film as a medium that can do something other than tell, you know, tell stories in it, feature films. And I'm not even talking about just Hollywood. I, I just mean, you know, straightforward. This is almost like, yeah, I, 
it's a collection of scenes of looks and it is very well assembled but it's not necessarily assembled in a way that you watch it and just everything makes sense or every scene just yeah it, the the way it plays I was completely absorbed by the movie I was watching every frame intently but I can understand why others would find it frustrating and yeah and again that doesn't mean that they're that 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 isn't an insult towards them now the suppose that covers that I should also say there is the characters in this sometimes seem very disturbed or twisted in, in one way or another. Now, this is very tense as well. I already brought up Hitchcock. This is very Hitchcockian and that's just straight up. Whitworth Mills said, I started at Shadow of a Doubt and take and then I take it in a very different direction. And yeah, you know, Uncle Charlie shows up. Is there something there? The the you know, yeah, the the niece of Uncle Charlie tries to figure out is there something? Yeah, and we have the Hitchcock trademarks of the likable criminal. The double, which means that two people want the same thing, but only one of them is willing to act on it for better or for worse there's a staircase plays a role and trains as a sexual euphemism now the the score is done by Clint Mansell who is basically Darren Aronofsky's go-to guy for music and yeah it's amazing I, I've never heard a score by Clint Mansell that I didn't love. Now, this sort of covers several genres horror, family drama, psychological thriller. Uh, the title does not, at least not necessarily, refer to Bram Stoker, who wrote Dracula. It's the, a stoker is someone who tends the fire of a, a steam engine and yeah, there's there's something there too. It's it's very gloomy and suspenseful, and it's you know it creeps us out from start to finish. And the the filming and the, the the cinematography and the editing are just stunning. You. Yeah, I've already said every frame of this. The the compositions, the the exact techniques. If you didn't, some are going to look at this and say it's very. What's that line from The Ring? It's very first year of film school. But it might be effective if you hadn't seen it. Yeah. Or very, that's again, just to bring up Aronofsky, several of his earlier films, Pi and Requiem for a Dream, have been called very manipulative and gimmicky. And I, again, I can kind of see what they mean. I just, again, find that it's a quality, not necessarily a detriment. It's, it's true of the film, but it doesn't ruin the film for me the way it does for others and again I'm not saying they're wrong now it's very much a slow burn others have already made the comparison to Brian De Palma there's also definitely some of that going on now the there is some 
sexuality and violence in this that are very, again, it, it kind of, the movie doesn't really wait for you to be ready for it to cross certain boundaries, so just go into it knowing that. Again, some are going to consider that a negative quality. I disagree. Now, there are mixed opinions on whether this, whether or not this is memorable, and if the memorability is the good or the bad kind. For me, it's the good kind. This is a movie that's going to stay in my mind for a while, where the the symbolism and the all the details are going to keep yeah this is this is a movie I would recommend to others watch with with others and uh, watch again now there are those that call this pretentious I can see what they mean it definitely does it's it's a 95 you know, not counting the end credits, it's 95 minutes long, 99 width, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't fly by like many 90-minute movies do, you know, m many movies that don't break 100 minutes, and there are times where you feel like it is just symbolism and style for the sake of style, and I, I would definitely say, you know, again, another thing people say, is style over substance, and yeah, I would have to agree. There's there's not that much here. What's here is just exceptionally well told, and that again is not, if, or at least if anything, it's it's maybe more of an indication of Wentworth Miller as a scriptwriter. And to be fair, if this is one of the first things he's you know published or put out there. It's, it's one of the first scripts he sold. It's a good debut. You know, nobody is amazing the very first thing they do, unless they keep every little bit of their practice work under lock and key where nobody knows it but them. So yeah, it's... it's yeah, I, I believe that covers that. Now, some say that the first half is boring. I would definitely say that, uh, perhaps fittingly, it does pick up steam as it goes. Which, again, is not to say that it's... It's not that accessible and it's not that fast-paced, but it definitely does... As you... As you start to more get a feel for these characters, you start to want to see more of them. Where it's it's again one of these things where if you just hate these characters right from the which which I understand some did, and I I don't blame them. It is this this is again not a movie that tries to it's not a movie that tries to make you like it. It's not a movie that's selling itself. It's a movie that's there, and you can choose to watch it, you can choose to bypass it, the movie isn't really going to... Yeah, it's, it's definitely not going to sell itself, and in fact, if you do take it in, it will do some things that bother you, and perhaps some of these are intentional. And, yeah, I... I'm not of the opinion that it's the artist Perhaps that's, well, in the case of Park, I think it's appropriate to use that term. It is not the artist's, it is not the, the person who does, who undertakes a creative venture, a, a presentation within a medium. It is not their responsibility to entertain us. What they do is create something and put it out there. And then we, as audience or as critics, 
try to take it in or say we rather wouldn't and then give our thoughts on it and that's also where I would there, there are there are creators who get far too sensitive about that and I would say if that that is where I, I do draw that line you should be able to have your work criticized that is otherwise you shouldn't put it out otherwise you shouldn't share it with anyone but maybe close family or what have you but yeah it's, it's not their responsibility to entertain us or to make us like something but this was put out there and it didn't necessarily It didn't necessarily entertain me, or at least not necessarily very much, but it was very interesting. It was compelling. And it's a... Yeah, if, if, if it's a... A sort of a barrier to your enjoyment to not sympathize with main characters or to not like them then this is not a movie for you nor was it ever meant to be now I suppose that covers that it's been said that there are a number of plot holes Excuse me, I again, to, to address that, I, that, that's part of what I mean by it is, it's not a reflection of reality, it is a story being told. Now, from what I understand, from what I know of his other work, Park was not particularly at least compromised by Hollywood which is fantastic that's always the worry now the um, I may have already said this but it the movie does lose a, yeah lose a lot when we realize what is going on near the ending it's been called too stylish and too cold and I I would definitely say it is very stylish and very cold and again I, th I think part of it is the length I think if this movie was much longer it might be too much style too too long of a movie for it to be cold now, there are a lot of strange things going on, and it is often hard to tell what is going on or why. And that's another thing. I consider it a quality. Others consider it a negative. And it's, um, it's again, the, the movie, either you find yourself wanting to know what exactly is going on, and you're sitting and mentally trying to assemble the puzzle and every so often something will happen that you know you know how you're assemble assembling a puzzle and then like your brother walks in and you know you like he like shoves you away grabs the puzzle pieces throws them up in the air so you have to start all over and you break a couple of his fingers and mom yells at you okay what I'm getting at is sometimes the movie does that and yeah it's either really frustrating or really yeah yeah you're either gonna find it repelling or attracting it's a polarizing movie a very now the atmosphere is fantastic and and some have said that it is the point that the the atmosphere is why the movie exists and perhaps to to a certain extent it definitely is one of the best aspects as others have, I will say that the piano scene and shower scene are very memorable, very, yeah, they, they stay with you.
Now, for a lot of this, you don't really know what to expect or you, know, you can't really predict what is going to happen. Now, there is the, the violence and such often comes after stretches of tension. This is an enormously tense movie. I would say that not only does it creep us out from start to end, it also keeps us in suspense and just, yeah, it maintains the tension for most of the movie in, in one way or another. Something is going on that is tense in, in one way or another. It's, it's not always, I mean, early scenes, it's just the tension of a family drama, of this thing of, you know, now the three of them are living in the same house. What happens when a mother and daughter have to live together without the the father? You know, is there is there some guilt? Is there some judgment? What relationship did they have with each other? What what was the you know what was the husband wife relationship? What was the father daughter relationship? What was the mother daughter relationship? Yeah, and, and they get a lot of tension and suspense from that because, yeah, you're, you're trying to figure out what's going on and it's clear that you don't know exactly what's going to happen, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't rule out that it might be violent. And then sometimes it is. Now, and that is, I mean, that's an achievement for... A movie to just really yeah that's that's very impressive when that's accomplished now a number of scenes stop very suddenly or start part way into a conversation and again I'd say quality others said weakness and and some have gone so far as to say that you know they felt like parts of the movie was missing were missing and yeah it, it does kind of feel like that and I again find that some of the most compelling here is us filling in the blanks so the, the there's that thing of less is more and yeah all the stuff we don't see or we don't know in this we fill in and it's and it's very alive, it's very dynamic, like that. And this is, this is in part, again, the puzzle you assemble as you go through the movie, and then every so often it'll shake up. And other than that is also how... <laughs> Once you watch the movie, it goes on. It just, it changes because you've seen the ending and you know everything that was in the movie, but maybe you watch it again, pick up some things that you didn't before, or maybe you just let it, you know, think about it for a while. And yeah, it's, it's one of those movies. Now, it has been said that this this goes into some actually maybe I should not never mind this is a somewhat simple story but it's told in an interesting manner and this is again some some find this yeah some some dislike this I personally find that old classic stories from hundreds of years ago that are retold in different ways are very compelling. There, there are reasons why the same story gets told over and over again. The point is to not let it be the same retelling because that can get a bit, you know, or at least it's good to see more than one retelling of the same story. Now, that more or less covers it. And this has also been compared to the work of David Lynch and Tim Burton, and definitely. 
and it also there there are details in it that make you think that it's taking place today in in current times and there are things that make it seem like it's taking place decades ago and it, in some ways almost half a century ago and yeah it's um, again if you try to tie this movie down into I'm, I'm gonna get so annoyingly pseudo intellectual here but if you do try to try to tie the movie down and saying it takes place here in this this point in time it you know it is definitely reality or this was reality and this wasn't you're you're strangling the work it's it's not supposed to be tied down like that it is supposed to be very alive in in your hands in your mind it's you know and this is to an extent also one of those movies where what you take away from it is somewhat what you bring to it and to an extent now I think that pretty well covers it yes please rate and comment and hey if you like this video that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it